doing an electrofishing survey. It's a way of looking for um, fish in a river. We usually get small salmon and trout, just the juveniles, but that gives you a really good idea of how many fish you have around. Um, they'll usually be hiding amongst the rocks, so you can't see them just by looking at them, um, which is why we have to use this. It puts about 400 volts into the water, and that means that any fish in the area within about a metre or two of the ring will get an electric shock. It doesn't kill them, it just stuns them for a second, and that means they come out of hiding, as it were, from beneath between the rocks, and then we can catch them in the net. Um, it's something we do for surveying in a kind of professional capacity to monitor the rivers, but it's also really good for um, showing children um, fish that are in their local rivers. So we'll bring out school groups from the local primary schools. We're actually working with about 15 primary schools at the moment and the high schools, um, just so they can have a look at the sort of fish species we'll get. So there'll be things like salmon and trout. Um, if we're lucky, eels, maybe lamprey as well. And this is basically the only way you're ever going to get to see them up close because often you can walk past a river and not see a fish at all, but they're usually there hiding. You've got one in the net. So when we get back on shore, we've got the bucket of the fish we caught and we'll, what we'll do is lightly anaesthetise them just to put them to sleep a bit and it means that we can have a closer look at them, obviously, when they're not wriggling around so much. So we've got quite a few fish here. Uh, most of them are wee salmon. Um, you can have a good look at them. Salmon and trout are really similar at this age, so we have to have a really close look. But this river tends to have a lot of salmon, not so many trout in it. Um, this one's about 65 millimetres, which probably means he's hatched a year ago. Um, it's probably got another year to stay in this river before he migrates out to sea. We also caught one wee fry from this year's hatch. So, tiny little thing. He's only about, you see? Just 28 millilitres, uh, millimetres long. Excuse me. And so he would have been an egg up until about um, March, April time, hatched out of the gravels just recently. And he'll be in the river for another couple of years now before he migrates out to sea. And the only other species we've caught is a European eel. And this river has a really good eel population in it, so we often catch quite a lot of these. He's probably only about 10 or 15 years old, maybe a little less, um, depending on how fast they grow. So he'll be in the river for maybe another up to maybe 20 or 30 years, um, if it's a female anyway, um, before he migrates out to the Sargasso Sea to breed. So that's quite a good haul for this river. Shows the salmon population is quite healthy. And again, we just don't see many, many trout here, but good salmon numbers anyway.